I don't think many people, especially us guys, because it's not usually us that do it, realize how hard the stay-at-home parent thing actually is. I've done a stint of it in a, in a previous life, and honestly, it's absolutely exhausting, because obviously, if you're the one at home and the other one's going to work, you try and do all the wake-ups in the night, if there are any, when they're young, um, and you try and you know maintain the house, and 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 it doesn't stop. It it's something that goes on. It's a it's a twenty four hour job rather than you know your full time job at work. Now obviously you want to support your partner because they they uh, need to have their cognitive functions ready for them in the in the day. They can't be absolutely exhausted, otherwise they'll fail at their job, and their job is what's keeping you in the house and so on and so forth. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it does differ depending on the age of the kids, how many kids you have, how difficult they ki that your kids happen to be. And I know, for example, for us, it would be much easier if both of our kids or if we only had, say, Ella at home, she is like quite a quiet, easily to entertain kid. Um, Ivy's quite demanding. Um, but you know, so sometimes it can be easier if you've got that quiet kid that it, it just sort of sits there. You can get on with your day and do all the things you need to do. When you've got more active kids, more demanding kids, you know, there is something about their nature that you can't control as much. It's amazing how you can see this sort of thing when we've got two kids close in age, raise them exactly the same, completely different set of behaviours, and we have to carefully parent them differently. But this is why we're, we're sort of so exhausted at the moment as well, and I do try and help my wife out where I can because she needs it and I need it, but it leads us to both be shattered. And I think that's one of the things that makes the medication somewhat less effective as well. It sort of does what having a few strong coffees would to uh, a new people some days rather than actually having the effect of giving my, me my proper attention. And it's hard for us to actually catch up and to, you know, be who we want and need to be as well as we can because of how shattered we are at the moment. And this would be the same for anyone who doesn't have ADHD as well. It's just to say that being tired really affects your uh, ability to function <laughs> as someone with ADHD. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.